Major developments tonight in a million dollar jewelry heist. The FBI says they know who did it and they are facing charges tonight. Ralph Fainati is live with the new information. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Susan. And indeed, this has been a very lengthy investigation. The robbery occurred about a year and a half ago. And today, five Ohio residents were charged with conspiracy in connection with that million dollar heist. It was back in April of last year when Monroeville police were called to the Udipi Cafe on the William Penn Highway. The first clues in the investigation were provided by this nearby security camera. A jewelry salesman in town from New York City went into the restaurant to grab a takeout meal. While he was inside, four people are seen running toward his van. And after assaulting a second salesman who was inside the vehicle, they flee with several suitcases containing an estimated $1.2 million worth of diamonds and other jewelry. The next day, a restaurant employee described how quickly the theft occurred. They took everything, all luggage and everything. This happened within 10 minutes, really? five to 10 minutes. Monroeville is a peace area, and how come this happened in our parking lot? I even don't understand. The five Ohio residents now indicted in the case range in age from 35 to 48. They face conspiracy charges, and if convicted, face up to 20 years in prison. The FBI has not said if any of the diamonds or other jewelry has been recovered. Both the salesman and his partner suffered minor injuries in the confrontation with the robbers. One of them was hurt when he tried to jump on the getaway vehicle and was thrown off the vehicle as it was pulling out of the parking lot. Now, I talked to uh, Monroeville, police uh, Monroeville Police Chief rather Doug Cole earlier tonight. He said that uh, he was uh, relieved to see, happy to see that this investigation has uh, finally come to a conclusion. He noted that Monroeville Police contacted the FBI almost immediately after the theft occurred. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.